So a few YouTubers lately, including the Vlog Brothers, have been talking a lot about YouTube changes and advertising and things like that. And occasionally they bring up the subject of YouTube ads. And people are kind of split on YouTube ads. Some people don't mind them and some people hate them. But a lot of people in the comments were saying things like, oh, look at me, I'm so smart, I don't see ads anyway because I have ad block. And comments like this prompted Hank Green to upload a video to his personal channel where he says that he doesn't really like YouTube ads, but he uses them anyway because because he wouldn't be able to do his awesome job without them and if everyone installed adblock then the internet would die. Now personally I failed to see why people are so offended by the concept of being advertised to especially people who literally spent their whole lives watching commercials. Like if I made a product that I'm proud of I'm gonna tell people about that product whether they want me to or not and I don't think that makes me an asshole. Now obviously there are limits like there are a lot of websites now when you go to the website an ad pops up and literally literally blocks what you are seeing and sometimes you can't immediately tell how to close them and sometimes they even trick you into clicking on them that right there is bullshit and I'm sad that so many websites are doing that now also I hate ads that make noise and I hate auto playing video ads on websites that I didn't come to to watch videos so there is a limit and if you're using a free service that depends on ads and they're crossing that line by all means complain about it talk about it get them to fix it and if they don't then fuck them but the thing is YouTube is not at all like that you YouTube is very modest with its ads. On most video pages, there is one, count it, one small square box in the fucking side of the screen. And obviously on many videos, there is a pre-roll ad before the video, and it's either about 30 seconds long, which is the average length of a regular TV commercial, or you can skip it after five seconds. Now, if you can't look at something for five seconds on a free website in order to help them keep it free, you kind of be in a douchebag. And then there are people that say, I know for a fact that I'm never going to click on an ad anyway. Well, first of all, they are much more concerned with you seeing the ad than you clicking on it. And secondly, why are people so morally opposed to clicking on ads? It's as if your soul is going to get drained out through your nostrils once you click that button. For example, when I go on YouTube, there are videos recommended to me. And if they seem interesting, I will click on them. And in many of the videos, the content creators themselves will ask me to buy something. How's that any different than clicking on an advertisement? I see ads all the time that interest me and I click on them. It's not the end of the world, bro. It's fine. It's okay. Now, I don't necessarily immediately buy something, but if it's interesting, I will click on it and I will be happy that that ad was shown to me because now I have more information. Many of the things I own and enjoy, I would not have known about if not for advertisements. Now, I know a lot of people that mute or skip commercials when they're watching them, and I kind of hate that. A, because most commercials are at least moderately entertaining, especially the ones on YouTube, man. Some of those pre-roll ads are better than the videos they perceive. Eat, work, gym, shower, bar, beer, sleep. But beyond that, I like knowing about new products and new deals and stuff like that like what's wrong with that like yesterday I was on YouTube and there was an ad for a product called the Beardo which is a beanie for your face that looks like a beard and I didn't even know that that was a thing before now and I'm glad I do now because that's hilarious now obviously the industry is not perfect sometimes ads are misleading or sometimes the products are inferior but you circumvent that by keeping yourself informed and staying aware of what the hell's going on around you now at first I didn't want to put pre-roll ads on my video because I don't want to annoy people, but really fuck off. I feel like it's a very minutely low price to pay to support content creators and YouTube in general.